Hello YouTube and welcome to my tutorial on how to move memory card saves from your PlayStation 2 memory cards to your PC or to an emulator and back again, whichever you prefer. A few disclaimers before we get started here. I'm not responsible for anything that you do to your system, your memory cards, your flash drives, or anything else that you do in the course of trying to do this. Please understand that those things are possible and that if you do this, I'm not going to be held responsible for that. Please follow the directions exactly if you have questions. Feel free to ask. I am always available to answer those questions. Comment, message me, whichever you like. Also, I'm using free McBoot. Some of you know this, some of you don't. Free McBoot is a soft modification of the PlayStation 2, and it is installed onto a memory card. I'm not going to go into how to get this or how to install it. This will be something you'll have to look up on your own. However, if you already have this, please don't use it for any Ill illegal activities. Do not use this to play burnt games or anything like that that is possible with Free McBoot. However, as I said, it's illegal and I do not condone it whatsoever, especially since PS2 games are not even that expensive, most of them. So, let's get started. The program that you're going to want to use is this Ulaunch Elf. It is included with version 1.93, I believe 1.8 as well. Those are the only two I can confirm that this is working. It's probably on all of them, but those are the only two I've actually used myself, so those are the two I'm going to say definitely work. So you're going to go ahead and hit X to go into this program. Take just a second here for this pull up. Now this is how you're going to get into the file browser, and what the file browser allows you to do is see the files on the memory card. So for this example, I'm just going to copy all the files off the memory card, and this is exactly how I suggest you do this. If you do not want to copy all of the files, please delete the ones that you don't want, and that way you can just do it the easy way. So next step, you're going to hit circle for file browser, and let me explain what these are real quick. MC0 is the memory card slot 1 on the PlayStation, the far left one if you're looking at it from the front. MC1 is actually the second slot if you're looking at it from the front and be slot number two on the PlayStation 2 when you're looking at the browser system. HDD0 is actually talking about a hard drive. If you have a hard drive for your PlayStation 2, uh, this is where it will be located. CDFS is any disk that has been loaded into the system that has been read. And finally, mass storage is USB flash drives. This is where we're going to copy our memory card information to. So, first thing we want to go is go to the memory card we want to back up, or if we want to transfer back to it, either way, go ahead and hit circle. If you are transferring this to the flash drive, let's go ahead and do that first. So you're going to go ahead and select all of these by hitting X on each one. Go ahead and hit R1, and then you're going to hit circle for copy. You'll see at the top there it says copied to clipboard. That is what you want. Go ahead and hit triangle to go back, circle to go into your flash drive, and then here is your flash drive. You can see here I've already done a few. So what you want to do, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this so it doesn't get confusing is hit new directory, name it whatever you want, go ahead and hit circle again to enter into this new directory, and then paste it. You're going to get a screen like this that comes up, and what this is doing is copying over the information from the memory card to the flash drive. And this information may take a little while to do depending on how much was originally on that memory card. Not too long. Should be under five minutes regardless of what was on that memory card. At the end it will clear and it will show you that all the files have been moved over. Hopefully you won't get an error message. And you're done. If that's all you wanted to do was move it to your flash drive as a backup and then to your PC, that's all you need to do. Now let's say you want to do the opposite. You want to move it back to a memory card. I suggest first clearing out that memory card of all files. If you can't do that, this may be a little tricky and you may get error messages. So memory cards are cheap, guys. Just buy you another one. Um, have you know just a few laying around. They're getting old and they like to fail anyway, which is why I'm showing you this. So it's better to do this uh, with a new fresh memory card or a newly freshly formatted memory card, um, which I could show you as well. So basically, again, you're just going to copy and move back. You're going to go back the opposite direction. You're going to go back to your memory card and you're going to paste these in. Of course it's going to say paste failed because the problem here is I've got all this stuff and it's conflicting so this is another reason why I tell you to have it a fresh memory card, delete everything that's on it. There is a way to format memory cards on the PlayStation 2. Um, I can show you that. Okay, say you want to format a memory card, you can do that through the Elon shelf as well. You don't need to restart it like I did. Um, I forgot that you can just go back and do this. So you're going to wait for it to load, then you're going to go to the file browser, you're going to go down to your flash drive, 
and you should have this program if you're doing free McBoot on your flash drive. If not, again, there's lots of ways to get this file and put it onto a flash drive so that you can access it. You're going to go ahead and open this up. And when this pops up, it's going to give you all these options. You're going to go ahead and go to Format Memory Card. And of course, you're going to pick which slot. If it's not in the first slot, make sure that you pick the second. If you do this and it formats, you will lose everything on that memory card. So be absolutely sure that you want it to be formatted and, you know, ready to go. And then you would just hit yes. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because this is my free McBoot memory card, one of them. And we don't want to delete it. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope this is informative. And go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, leave me a comment if you're unsure about something. Don't mess it up. You know, if you're unsure, just give me a shout out and I'll help you. Anyway, I hope this helped, like I said, and have a good one.